Hey guys, this is Gevork from Gevlos Tennis. Today I wanted to give a quick tip on the backhand, the one-handed backhand, if you have a one-handed backhand. One of the problems that I think I've had in the past, a lot of people might have, is basically bad shoulder rotation. You know, one of the ways you get generate power as a tennis player is by rotating the shoulders, whether it's the forehand or the backhand. And the more you do it, the more you coil your body and uncoil, the more power you get. So. One interesting question is what's the right amount of shoulder rotation to have? And with the one-handed backhand, there's a nice little tip that I've discovered that can really help nail down the right shoulder rotation. Basically, you want to get your shoulder to get in, in aligned with your chin. Once you get to that point, you know you've rotated the shoulders properly. So if you look at me in this position, you can see I'm more or less touching my chin now with my shoulder that's when you know you have the right rotation. If you notice the racket, it's on the opposite side of my body. So if you don't have good rotation, like you see, you'll only go this far. See the racket just stays on the left side of my body. But notice as I rotate more and I get the shoulder onto my chin, you can see that the rotation is a lot better. And then you see the racket on the opposite side of my body and the strings are now kind of visible to you and parallel to the net and then you just uncoil and hit the backhand. So what I want to do is I'll show you a few uh, clips of some of my older videos where I had bad shoulder rotation so you see what it looks like and also show a few right now to kind of demonstrate what bad shoulder rotation is and then I'll show a few clips with better shoulder rotation and you can see I think hopefully that you get way more power uh, with good shoulder rotation. So hopefully from the clips you can understand the importance of the shoulder rotation in the backhand and how it can really help with your shot. If you're just learning the backhand, the one-handed backhand, or you've been playing with it for some time but you're struggling with it, you're not getting enough power, just try this tip, you know, just get your shoulder off your chin and just kind of always force yourself to do it in the beginning and then it'll slowly it'll just become muscle memory and then just see how that it helps with your backhand. Do you get more power? Do you get a little bit even more control? Because uh, it's really helped me out and I just wanted to share the, uh, this tip with you guys. So if you found this video useful, give it a like. If you have any questions or comments, just comment below and uh, please subscribe to the channel uh, if you want more content like this. This is Gevork again from Gevlos Tennis. Have a great day.